Hats off to embroidery. Today we're going to embroider some ball caps. I'm going to use the Baby Lock Array. It's a multi-needle machine with a free arm. That means I can use the new Easy Load hat frame, which is awesome. Even if you already have a multi-needle machine, you need to see how easy this is. I'm Kathy. This is Sewing Tech Talk. And let's do some hats. So I've already loaded this hat up on the frame. Now when you're doing hats on a multi-needle machine, each frame for hats is three parts. There is the frame that actually holds the cap. There's a frame that goes on the machine because the machine's going to embroider this hat kind of like a steering wheel. It's going to take it back and forth and the free arm of the machine is going to fit right inside there. So that makes it really easy to get a hat done and because it's kind of awkward to load this on right you only have two hands there's a stand that you could put uh, the frame on to help you load it up first we're going to do a hat I want you to see how easy it is to do a hat on the machine then we're going to come back we're going to hoop another one so that you can see how that goes ready okay so now i'm going to do a hat for my husband the cameraman and he was in the 82nd airborne i've already done a t-shirt for him and that was on um the uh, dad joke embroidery video so if you haven't seen that you want to go probably see that after you finish watching this one so we're going to do sort of a matching hat we're going to do the airborne symbol with wings now i've already loaded it in the machine this machine is wireless the array is wireless and i can use the free baby lock app to to just transfer automatically that design on into the machine so let's pull up the design and let's get to stitching but first let's just put this on the machine now like i said it's already loaded we're going to load another one a little bit later but let me show you how this goes on so here's the machine what i'm going to do is you have the bill of the hat and it goes up and towards the back so when I bring it in, I'm going to put it on here, tilt it, and it just snaps right into place. Once you find its happy place. Ta-da! Now, it's ready to go. What I need to do is I need to pull up my design, make sure I have my colors in the right spot, and I'm going to use the positioning feature on the Baby Lock Array to make sure I have the hat in there straight. I hooped it as good as I can, but let's see if we need to adjust it. So let's bring up that design. So I sent it over wirelessly, and I put it into the memory of the machine. So here's the machine memory. And there's his little symbol right there. It's the airborne symbol with wings. Now, one thing that's really neat about a machine like this is when I put the hat hoop on, I have a, a holder that it goes on, right? It automatically knows that I have that on there. So if you can see the screen, the screen has this gray box. When I put any hoop on the machine, it automatically shows me where my embroiderable field is on the machine. Not only that, but once I get everything going, it'll automatically turn that design upside down because that's the way I need to embroider the hat. So it does that automatically for you and it makes the process of embroidering a hat kind of foolproof. So <laughs> let's bring up that design. Here it is. And it's well inside, well inside that area. So I know I can use it. So when I hit set, I can come up and this is where I can do editing to my embroidery. If I want to change any colors, if I want to change the size of it, could I change the size of this design? Well, sure. I can see that within that little gray area, I can change the size of this design and it would work great. I'm going to leave it the size it is, but I can do that. And of course I can change the colors and I can do repeats if my design would fit. So I don't need to do anything to it. Let's go to positioning because that's super important. You don't want your hat, you don't have to wear one of your hair like this <laughs> walking around the town because you didn't get it on there straight. So let's get it on there straight. So we're going to go edit end. Now on the screen, and you can see the, the machines automatically turn that design upside down, which is awesome, right? So I'm going to use the positioning, which is this LED pointer right here on the machine. So when I touch that, I can select the parts of the design that I want to align. Now this cap has a center seam, and of course I'm going to align it with that. So I'm going to align the center right in the center of my field of my hat, 
and I'm going to make sure I did it straight. So I want to do that part and I want to go straight up to the brim of the cap, the top of the brim, to make sure everything is straight. Once I do that, I can look on the hat and I see this red crosshair. And the red crosshair is where I can adjust this design to make sure it's dead on in the middle. I hooped it pretty good, but you always have a little bit of adjustments you might want to make. So I'm going to move it to the left just a little bit. to fit right on that seam line. Now, let's make sure I have it in there straight. When we go to the next part, it's going to do the very top of that design to make sure everything's straight. I'm pretty good, but I have to go over to the left just a little bit. Dead on. Now, let's look at the design and you'll see that the machines automatically adjusted it so that I can stitch this design perfectly. When I hit set, you'll notice that now my airborne wings are flying just a little bit off. I thought I hooped it pretty good, but the machine's going to help me absolutely get it dead right on. So there we are. Let's go ahead and embroider this hat. Now, it already brought up the colors. I'd already done one previously, so it put all the colors, but I'm going to double check them. It wants the white on, it wants the white on number one, it wants the red on two, and the blue on three, and the gray on four. Or, did I miss? I think it's going to do the wings first. Oops, I put the thread on the wrong color. No pro on the wrong peg. No problem. I kind of messed up. I didn't see the difference. Not a problem. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch colors on the, tell the machine, oops, I made a mistake. I'm the boss of the machine. So when I hit the thread exchange right down here, I'm going to say, no, no, no. One is really four. Four is really one. And then I just say, okay. I don't have to rethread. The machine automatically helped me fix it. So now, now I think I'm perfect. So I'm going to say, hmm, I'm going to, you can stitch the cap pretty fast, but yeah, let's just stick it about 600 stitches a minute. It's only going to take about 14 minutes. Remember, it's going to go from one color to the other, and I really don't have to be here to babysit it. So everything's good to go. Everything's arranged. I got my colors. Finally, I got my colors in the right spot. Let's rock and roll. Perfect. Okay, when we come back, we're going to have a hat and the cameraman's going to be styling. So the hat's all finished. Let's take it off the machine. And ta-da! Look how cool that is! So let's take it off. Now, this is the hat hoop that the hat goes into. And basically all I do is I'm going to bring it down so that you can see. You just turn this knob and that's going to unlock the hat. So if I turn this like that, this hat part just pops off and I have these clips on either side to hold the base of the hat and it's just going to pop right on off which is pretty neat right and here we go oops stabilizer caught so now let's hoop another one so now basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the brand new hat right and we're going to put the frame on to the mounting jig. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to snap it on. You're snapping it on just like you're snapping it onto the machine. So it's going to snap on just like that. Really easy. And this hat is brand spanking new. So it has the cardboard on the inside. Take that out. 
<laughs> you don't want to st stitch through that. And I am going to use some tearaway stabilizer. Now the inside of the hat has some mesh, right? That's really kind of just not enough to do the embroidery that we're going to do. So we're going to add the stabilizer on. And there's a great system for helping it, uh, for when you're hooping it on, it holds it in place. This is the sweat band, they call it. So I'm going to lift that up and out of the way. So now let's take our stabilizer. And the stabilizer goes underneath here and it hooks on to these little hooks. It comes out easily when you remove the hat off the mounting jig, but this really just helps you get it in there and you push it in just like that and push it down onto that, those little holders and that's going to hold it on really, really easy. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your um, holder thingy bobber <laughs> and it's going to go on the top of the hat. Now the hat gets embroidered upside down. She knows that auto automatically. So you're going to take this and you're just going to slip it right over the top and this part is going to fit. These little grabbies is going to fit right into the seam. Now this cap has a center line. So because of that it's really easy for me to line it up, right? So I can just put this center mark on that center line. If it didn't, I could take a chalk marker and I could mark it just to make sure. Oops, I popped out my stabilizer. There we go. Cool. Now because I did that, I have everything all lined up. I have my sweat band out. I'm simply going to lay this over the top of the frame, just like this. Put these little guys down on the side. And double adjust it, because you know how things happen. And then when I get it where I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty happy where it's going to be, I'm going to turn this knob down below that you saw before to lock, press everything down, and ta-da! It's actually kind of hooped. All I'm going to do is make sure that I have that sweat band up and out of the way. I can look in there and I can see that. And, you know, it's ready to go. That's how fast and easy it is to hoop it with a new <laughs> easy hoop on frame. So now, let's go to the machine. We're going to pick out another design. I think I'm going to do something a little bit prettier on this, maybe. There's a lot of designs that are built into the machine. So we'll pick out something that's kind of pretty and summery. So I have a nice little summer hat. So let me get this over to the machine and we'll turn the camera so that you can see the screen and I'll be right back. So it's been all hooped. One thing is on the side, I just put a couple of these clips to hold down the sides and it's really easy to do. Like I said, the clips come with. On the inside, you can see the stabilizer got held and went in there really, really nice. So it was really simple to hoop. Now when I put it on, you're going to put it on sideways and then tilt it up and click it on the machine. So I'm just going to put it in like this, tilt it on up, and then you're going to press it on into the machine. and it clicks into place. So that was really, really simple. Now, let's go to the screen in the machine. There's actually several designs that are built into the array so that, that work on hats. So let's go find those. So yes, we're finished embroidering. Okay. We're going to go back home. Okay. Now, I know that they're under here, and I believe there's some under here, but I think there's some under here as well. Whole bunch of built-in designs, but I think towards the end, hmm, well, there's a gardening one. That's just a little bit big, but remember, we can totally resize a design to fit, and we have that gray box so that we can see exactly what fits. Um, a sandwich? Well, I don't know if I want a sandwich with a hat on it. A hat with a sandwich on it. You know what I mean. Uh, what about, what about the hummingbird? Oh my goodness, I think that just fits. Now, I can see with the gray box, I could make it a little bit bigger. So, let's see what we can do. So when I hit set, I can come up to size and I want to resize it and recalculate the stitches. This machine can take the any design and blow it up 200%. Now, we know I can't take it up that big, but I can take it up a little bit to fill a little bit more on my hat. So when I hit recalculate, it always takes it to normal, basic, basic design. And then I think I can stretch it out just a little bit, make it a little bit bigger, 
to fit my hat, a little bit more of an impact on my hat. I think that's good. I don't think I've distorted the design by stretching it one way more than the other. I could if I needed to. I think that's good. When I hit OK, hmm, well, I think I'm ready to go ahead and find my colors. Now, when I hit Edit End, the machine, I can do my placement. And I can see I'm pretty good on there, so I don't think I need to change it. I hooped it pretty good, even though I was showing you on camera. Who knew? So I can go straight to embroidery because I think it's pretty good because the machine gives me that X crosshairs right when I put the machine, the hat on. Now, it wants me to change two of the colors. So I need to go find my colors and find whatever they are and put them on the machine. So I'm going to go find my colors. We'll come on back. We'll thread up the machine with those colors and we'll get started with our beautiful <laughs> hummingbird hat. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I went and found the other threads that it wanted. It wanted me to change the threads on needles one and three. It's really easy to change threads on this machine. Basically, you put the new spool on there, clip the other one off, of course, tie it on and pull it through. So you put the new spool on, you tie on the new thread, and then I'm going to pull through the threads on one and three and just re-thread them. And the machine has a threader to, for me to redo that. So I'm going to take the threads from one and three and just pull those threads through until I have the new color. Then I'm going to tell the machine that I am threading needle number three. It's going to go to that location. I push this button. It comes forward. I put the thread around there and around the top, press that button again. Now that went away. Now I still need to thread number one. Press the button. Put the thread around press the button again, and notice that screen went away, and it told me I did what I was supposed to do. Now, I do a last minute check to make sure I have all my colors where I want them to be. And I don't have to use big cones of thread. I can use my small embroidery threads that I already had. So it's going to go through the first six colors because this is a 10 color design. Then it's going to stop you can see the red line where it's going to stop. And there's a few colors under there that I'm going to change to. I'm going to have to go find those while it's embroidering, but it's no problem. On my IQ positioning app, it gives me a color list. So I can take that over and casually go through my threads and pick them out. So I'm ready for the first six colors. Let's go this one a little bit faster. No, it will stay at about 600. See, the machine knows. The machine knows I'm going to stay at 600. It keeps me there. It's a smart machine. It's easy for you to learn how to use this machine when the machine knows what it's supposed to do. So, are you ready? All I have to do, I have my colors in. I'm ready to go. All I have to do is hit lock. Green means go. I'll see you after those first six colors. So it finished the first six colors, and now the, now the machine is telling me on the screen the next four colors. I've done a couple already, just uh, three of them out of four, just to sh get it moving along here. But the last one I need to do is color number four. So basically, all I need to do is I switch the ones that it showed me to switch. I'm going to pull that thread on through, tie it on up here, pull it on through. You press this, you press the button to make sure it goes to number four. Press this, press it again, and you're all threaded. All six needles threaded just like that. Now it's going to go through the last four colors, and then my butterfly on the hat is going to be all done. So I think I'm ready. Let's go. It says I have about nine more minutes. <laughs> so it's all finished, and it turned out really cool. So now I'm going to pop it out. Turn it slightly to clear the needles and bring it on out. All right. Look at how pretty that is. Let me bring it on in so that you can see. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to take the clips off the side and release it so it's unlocked. This just pops right off, pops right off, <laughs> and 
and ta-da! One really cool hat. I think the hummingbirds might get mistaken <laughs> for me or a flower. <laughs> so thank you for watching me. I want to make sure that you know that we have a giveaway for every video and I want to thank George for providing a giveaway for all you guys for every video. Every time you like, share, or comment, you're entered for a chance to win this great pack of embroidery thread. So check back in a couple days just to see if you've won and claim your prize. I'm going to shoot it off to George once again. Thanks George! I know everyone appreciates a free gift. Thanks for watching me today. Hope you had a great time. Go out and let's do some hats. Thanks, Kathy. That was an incredible presentation. The Baby Lock Array offers the right combination of performance and technology. Now, because it has an open arm, you can embroider almost anything from bags to hats to backpacks to sleeves all kinds of items that you can't embroider on a flatbed machine. But it also has uh, such technology, including the ability to size your designs up to 200% or decrease them 70% and maintaining the same quality. Now it has six needles that interchange very, very quickly and it goes up to high speeds over a thousand stitches per minute. It's large, a nearly 8 by 12 inch embroidery hoop gives you beautiful embroidery of all types, as well as you can even send designs via Wi-Fi to the machine. You have uh, 50 built-in fonts with the ability to arc and array and customize, plus some very, very large monograms that are so beautiful. My favorite feature is that crosshair laser. I can simply draw a line or a crosshair on my, my uh, garment and mark two points and it automatically aligns it so that I have perfect embroidery every single time. Now we have an incredible opportunity on this machine. The Baby Luck Array has a regular retail price of $14,999, but right now it is on sale for $11,999. $99. We're offering interest-free payments of only $199.98 a month. That makes this very affordable. We're also including free shipping across the country. But right now also, as a special offer, we're including a bonus. This bonus includes nine rolls of stabilizer, 10 5,000 meter spools of Floriani thread, 63 spools in virtually the rainbow colors. I have a box of bobbins, 10 packages of embroidery needles, plus two exclusive collections from Anita Good Design that has over 650 embroidery files and a membership to love and knowledge where you can learn everything about the Baby Lock Array. This bonus has a value over $2,000 and it's included free with the purchase of the Array while we have this in stock. Now, I mentioned that we have interest-free payments of $199.98 a month. If you're not wanting to finance this, I have even a better offer for you where we have even more bonus for you. So give us a call at 1-800-865-9664 or click on the link to order this machine. Bye for now.